the marble machine, miserable material waste or memorable museum piece. Let's try to actually find out because I want to move this machine into a new and better home. So if you're a museum or a private person that want to borrow the machine or buy it, we are really open for suggestions. This video is about the mechanical monsters who harnessed the power of moment of inertia, the flywheel. I have a strong memory from childhood opening like these kinder eggs with surprise. There was a little plastic car that had a little metal flywheel inside it. It was only big like a thumbnail. And then you could like roll it over the floor, give the flywheel in that little, little toy car some moment of inertia and it ran by itself. For me, it was total magic. When I built this original machine, at first I didn't even have a flywheel, but the music wasn't tight. I experimented and implemented the flywheel and the music became so much tighter. And I only had one brake, but as you can see, I cannot stop this machine in one go. So I knew for the Marble Machine X, I needed much more functionality. <laughs> Decreased pulley diameter from 70 millimeter to 48 millimeter also equals more moment of inertia. Equals tighter music. Equals. So on the table we have the flywheel, and on top here is the torque limiter. And we want everyone who are seeing this video to know why we're using a torque limiter and how it works. So we made this little diagram to explain why. This is the torque and if the torque gets too full and the flywheel just moves on and on and on and something comes into the gears, the flywheel will just drives the marble machine and the gears can explode. It will be a disaster and there will be no world tour. With the torque limiter we can add a limit so when the torque goes up to that limit, the torque limiter triggers and pushes down the torque to nothing, to a drrrr. The world tour is saved. So every time in a video when you hear this drrrr sound, it's because the torque limiter has tricked. If something goes wrong in the machine, the flywheel will automatically decouple itself. Check this out. Something goes wrong. So there's different kinds of torque limiting mechanisms. For example, a shear bolt, that's basically just a screw that's uh, designed to break if the torque gets too high, but we can't reset that. So we need something that gets reset automatically. And then we chose one with marbles in it. Mm -hmm. And um, Alex can explain how this one works. So um, here you can see the, uh, this part is a pulley that will be driven by Martin and drives the flywheel. So this is the connection point to the marble machine from the flywheel. And th there is the torque limiter. When you apply enough force, then it will trip. And we can have a look inside here. There you can see some grooves, five, five grooves. And here are the five marbles. These marbles are spring-loaded, so they can be pressed down. Here you can see the marble and a spring under it. And in a normal operating state, the marbles sit in this groove here. And when the force is too high or the torque is too high, then the marble will get pushed in and can slip over the surface here. That's then this ocean and that's also the sound. When this happens in the diagram, this happens on the flywheel. So what I'm just doing here is this moment. Whenever you hear this sound in the video, you can think of the diagram and know that this is what's going on. This concept was suggested by Toby 
really early when I talked to him and the actual design ID comes from Alex CNC but it's Toby who has manufactured these parts and designed them in CAD. And I remember Toby sending me some equations in the beginning when I met him over email about the moment of inertia of the flywheel. I didn't understand anything except that I wanted Toby on the Marvel Machine X team. <laughs> Hi, my name is Toby and I'm from Munich in Germany. I'm currently helping Martin with producing some mechanical parts. So far I've turned the Multi-V belt pulley for the Marvel Machine X. I even had to make my own turning tool for that. I used my grinding wheel to get a high speed steel blank into the opening angle I needed. The next step will be to turn a ground pulley for the belt tensioning system and to design a torque limiting mechanism for the flywheel assembly in Fusion 360. we have in CAD and I feel the springs are very tight at the loosest setting. So I made this plate, it's a spacer plate, we put the spacer plate under. Now you can see that the marbles end up much lower. Snap into the marbles but it releases with enough pressure. trick I recently found out with tapping recorder's drill. I have no clue why I didn't think about this before. You can use the clutch release when you're tapping. Did you hear how it was releasing there? So I only need to focus on keeping 90 degree here and not trying to focus on something else meanwhile tapping. This is what procrastination looks like for real. So these holes are access holes for the adjusting tool to adjust the tension of the clutch torque limiter. These holes in the middle are through holes for these bolts. And in the previous design there was room for nuts here like this. But I'm actually moving the flywheel four millimeter because of this spacer plate and that makes these nuts interfere with the shaft holder on the side here like so so I can obviously not make a thread in here because it's already a through hole so I'm gonna fill these five holes up with some weld and maybe build up the surface a little bit and then I'm gonna re-drill these holes and re-tap so I'm gonna build in a nut inside each of these five holes.
another safety function of this wheel is that we have acrylic glass here. And these acrylic glass pieces are cut by Florian, an amazing member of the Marble Machine X team. Florian has prototyped the on the phone. He has done an just outstanding work. There are magnets underneath that act as frets on a guitar. And this is just a beautiful prototype. So this project is going on behind the scenes and I'm testing it. And I just wanted to shout out Florian's amazing job on this on the phone prototype. Thank you, Florian. But Florian cut these acrylic pieces and then Toby put them in. of all the functionality of this flywheel on the Marble Machine X. First, the power input is the crank. You see the crank sits on this shaft. On the same shaft is this big pulley and the power belt that goes down to the flywheel sits here. And this lever is adjusting the belt tension. So, activated and deactivated. That position is tensioned, the middle position is free, and the up position is brake. So you see this little plywood part here? This plywood block goes against this pulley to break the whole machine. I think this is elegant how we could make three positions of this lever and get so much functionality. And what is cool is that I can start and stop the machine. So check the big programming wheel. Yeah, the whole machine. I start it like this. Flywheel is activated. Now I go into free mode. So if you see and listen, the flywheel is still going. So I have some momentum inertia. So only by pulling this lever, I can start the machine. I can do this all day. <laughs> well done, Marble Machine X. You start to sound like the industrial monster I wanted you to be. <laughs> it's growing up, the little one. Being able to stop abruptly is super important for music because sometimes you just want to play stop. In the Marble Machine X plays drums, I did that in the end of the song. The drums play and I pull this lever and the machine just stops. It works perfect. And here's a lever who activates this brake. But the most important function of them all is the release clutch. This is the genius from Toby and Alex combined that if something goes wrong in the machine, the flywheel will automatically decouple itself. This is the hidden secret function. Check this out. Something goes wrong. And this little thing here is an extra function because we wanted the torque limiter to only trigger in one direction. So when I want to crank the marble machine, and accelerate as fast as possible. I notice I put my whole body weight on it and then I just slip like rrr. So I trigger the tor torque limiter in the accelerating direction. But thanks to this little ratchet, it can trigger in this direction. But when I start to accelerate, this happens. Do you see how it locked in there? So then I'm going to start to drive the flywheel. So this is the acceleration and then that's the safety function. Right there is the little ratchet powered by a spring steel and it grabs hold of those teeth here. So I'm gonna try to unlock it when we can see the ratchet. There, did you see the ratchet slip? 
And then the other way, it catches the teeth. And now you see it hasn't locked. So when I move forward, you can hear the click on when it's locking again. There. <laughs> so in these five holes, we can access set screws that regulate the internal spring tension for the clutch release. So counterclockwise will make the release activate earlier because the spring tension is less. Clockwise increases the spring tension and the release will activate later. So having this adjustability is really important. If I tighten clockwise like this, the level of this limit will be higher. We can have more torque before the torque limit triggers. If I adjust it anti-clockwise, this limit will be lower and the torque limiter will trigger earlier. So this adjustability is really, really important. I can show it to you if I lift up here. The higher up the marbles protrude over the surface, the higher is this limit on the diagram, the lower down, the lower this limit is on the diagram. Big shout outs to everyone in the Marble Machine X team. Behind the scenes, you don't see it so much, but they are working hard. And an extra shout out to Toby and Alex for working their engineering magic on this decoupling function. I could never have believed I would have a flywheel that is like an artificial intelligence level. <laughs> See you on the next week. Take care, have fun.